This is probably the most janky lighting setup ever, but uh, it, it's somehow kind of working. It's just the background, and it just can't be it can't be white like this anymore. So we're gonna have to work on that. All right, what's going on YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Uh, this video is gonna be uh, one of those videos where I talk about uh, the lure that we use to catch fish. Uh, except in this one, I didn't catch any fish in that video, and uh, my buddy caught one fish and then lost a giant one at the very end. So if you guys want to go check out that video, like up here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up here. And you can go check that out. I think it's on this side. It's on this side. It should be on this side. It should be on this side. You know, I'm a complete egghead and totally forgot to put the microphone on the camera. But oh well, we're we're here. We're at the video. Grab the bait. Gotta grab the bait real quick. All right. So we got here the it's a, a standard Z-Man shatter bait. I think this is like a quarter ounce. I don't know. Does it say no? It doesn't say anywhere what what it weighs. But this is what we were using. We we're using the shatter bait in that video. Um, that's because it was downpouring. There was a lot of noise from that rain. So we figured. We need noise, first of all. Noise for this chatterbait to get those bites, to get those fish to notice that there is something in the water that they should probably eat so we can have a, a good time and reel them into the boat. And then we tip that off with a juggle minnow, that new six cents fishing juggle minnow, um, which you see in the video over here or whatever. This bait is so awesome. Honestly, you gotta fish it for yourself because once you see it in the water on the back of something like this, when it dives, it does this like fluid motion with the tail. It's so cool. And then it's just going crazy back there with that blade on there. It's going super crazy. And we figured this combo would definitely get bit and it definitely did get bit. Um, I just don't know. It was like a cold front that was moving through with a whole bunch of rain. I mean, that lake water was, it felt like it was 80 degrees. It felt like it was just, I could take a bath in it. It'd be so awesome. Like, I, we consider multiple times just jumping in the lake, and that would be warmer than sitting out on the boat. That would heat us up and allow us to continue to fish. Um, if we just hopped in a lake, that's how warm the water was. But we also chose the chatterbait with the juggle minnow combo because with a lot of other baits and with the chatterbait, the, uh, the action is supposed to be coming mainly from the blade here um, and it's supposed to be making noise. It's supposed to be swinging this bait around, really, really making this thing move around and a lot of other trailers kind of impede on this action so if you have a trailer that has its own action to it has a, like a like a paddle tail or a crawfish claws it's gonna make this blade's job very difficult i want to say very difficult it's gonna make it harder for this lure to do its job so that's why the juggle minnow is such a cool bait. It's just a tail here. It's like a miniature flush uh, 5.2 and it really allows this bait to do what it's designed to do. The third reason we picked this bait is because that lake we went to was chock full of grass. I mean just so much grass and the the contours were so weird. It was like super 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 shallow for so long and then it just dropped right off. And then, you know, again, it was just full of weeds all the way up to the, almost the surface of the water. So a chatterbait in grass is probably gonna be your best bet. You can use the spinnerbait, it works. We thought about that, we tried that, and uh, it still was getting gunked up. That's how crazy this lake was, but ended up chattering it. And uh, it works for my buddy, but I don't know, I just couldn't get a bite. So yeah, that's the new juggle minnow on the back of a chatterbait. You can use this bait for a lot of different trailers. 
Uh, again, the chatterbait, you can use it for a spinnerbait. We were using it on a spinnerbait that day too. Uh, you can use it on a swim jig. You can use it as a drop shot if you want. You just fish this bait the way it is. Fish it on a drop shot. Um, what else? Uh, uh, underspin, you can fish it on an underspin. You can fish it on a finesse jig. You can fish it on literally everything. I think the uh, possibilities for this bait is incredible and especially because it is a small minnow imitation and bass really key on pretty much this size of minnow mostly on their their average diet so I think there's more of these than there are those like big ass shad in the water but yeah if you guys like this video and you want to see more of these videos I'm gonna make them anyway hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and please leave a comment tell me what you like your what you like and what you don't like your ideas on these videos, what you want to see in the future, really it's just going to be kind of like a, a playback for me, like a review of my own video. So anyway, see you guys on the next one and uh, fish till you drop.